Yo, what is up you guys? Today we are gonna be wrapping my headliner in suede. When I say I, I mean Andrew because I don't know what the hell I'm doing and he did it to his car, so I'm just here to help and film. We're trying to prepare it for the roll cage, so I want it to look a little cleaner since I'm still gonna have interior. Here's the old headliner. And we got this uh, suede fabric. Where'd you get this stuff from? I got it from Joanne's fabric store. It was How like much did it cost? Yeah, well I got it on Black Friday, so I got like four or five yards for 30 bucks. So it's not that expensive though, right? No, it, yeah. I did my pillars and headliner for less than $100. I've been using the 3M headliner adhesive. This one's empty. This did all my pillars and headliners, so I mean, $15 bottle is gonna last you a while. I just got it from Amazon. This was also recommended because I went on a forum to see how other people did it and then kind of just did it myself. This didn't really work too well. Yeah, so basically it's pretty straightforward. It's just like wrapping a car with vinyl. First, clean the headliner, make sure all the dust, debris and stuff is off. I've just been like air dusting it and brushing it and stuff. So how much in total do you think that this would cost to do? This right here is like 30, 40 bucks, maybe. And then this, like regularly, 50 maybe for, but more than this, like you have to buy yards at a time. How much do you think it would cost to suede wrap your whole interior? Yeah, 100 bucks, easy. 100 bucks? And you get, a, you get a Porsche interior. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So basically, you just want to have a nice table cleaned out and grab the suede and just lay it over first. And you work uh, one half and then the other half. Start with the hard side, which is the visor side. So for this headliner, he's going to be deleting his visors since it won't fit with the roll cage. I'm just going to have the suede right over it. First, just want to spray the fabric and then press it down. And yeah, you want to do it kind of quick because it does dry up fairly easily. Grab it and then in out. If you have to peel and add more, that's perfectly fine. It's never going to be perfect the first time. But you just want to make sure there's no air bubbles. All right guys, so if the suede does get dirty at all, or you wanna clean it, you can get yourself a suede brush. I use these for my shoes. It was super cheap. I got off Amazon for like 10, 20 bucks. It comes with a couple different suede brushes and stuff to clean suede. This will really help in cleaning this while you're working on it, as well as maintaining cleanliness of it throughout the life. Top main part's done, now what? Now we're just gonna go around and kind of trim. If you don't wanna do too close, you wanna maybe like a finger length or something. Also guys, when we flip this on the table, we put down like a piece of paper because you do not want suede to touch like dirty stuff. It's gonna get ruined really fast. Another little thing, on mine, I peeled back all the old fabric so like there's no gray, it was just foam like this. Cause that's the that's the proper way to do it. But on this, you can't peel it back because it's so fucking old. This, gonna... Yeah, this would literally rip apart if we took off the original headline. Like, you can see how disgusting it is. Grab that shit. Sticker on down. It's not very sticky when it's wet, so you kind of let it dry for a second. Maybe go from the inside and press down like that. And you want to check the other side, make sure you didn't forget any fabric up. There's a little spot, but honestly, there's a frame that covers around that. Yeah, so with the light, so you don't even see it. Oh, <laughs> you just cracked. <laughs> yeah. If you want, you can do like some rubber cement to make sure that bitch doesn't come up. Oh, <laughs> cracked again. Yeah. I just... <laughs> Sun visor delete. Yo, that is fresh. This is that suede brush I was talking about I got on Amazon for like super cheap. Alright, 
so for the extra touch in the car, all this OEM interior stuff is like this light gray color. That doesn't look very cool, does it? We're gonna actually be painting this for the mirror and for the headliner light black. So right now he's just masking off all the electronics. And then while those are getting painted and drying, I'm actually gonna go put in the headliner back in the car real quick. We'll check back and get the finished product in a second. All right, let's see that finished product. Let's see what you did. Dang, that looks clean. That looks super sick. Oh yeah. Now we're just uh, waiting for the plastic paint to dry and then we're ready to start dry in this bitch. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to get you some more videos soon. Later. Peace out.